On January 30th, 2007, Microsoft released Windows Vista to general availability. January 30th, 2022 marks the 15th anniversary of its release. As a way of celebrating this, I thought it would be nice to give Vista the love it deserved, but having been through its rocky start, trying to prove that actually, Vista wasn't bad. And often I think it's completely overshadowed by its successor, Windows 7. As a matter of fact, Vista was the reason why Windows 7 was loved by so many. If Vista wasn't there, Windows 7 would have been criticized for similar reasons to Vista. But really, nearly all of Vista's problems could have been avoided if Microsoft gave developers a little more time to optimize their software. And also, if Microsoft hadn't wasted two years of its time working on it only for it to be unstable and then reset the entire thing, but that's a story for another time. Alright, enough talking, let's get started. In order to get my point across, I'll focus on the good first. Getting the obvious out of the way, Windows Vista was, and still is, a really nice looking operating system. Personally, the thing that stands out to its successors is the Arrow theme. Don't get me wrong, Windows 7 and 8.x still have Arrow as well. But as Windows 8.x nears its end of life, Arrow is slowly being buried into the depths of older computers. And that's a shame, considering Arrow is much nicer looking than the flat aesthetic of Windows 10 and 11. Vista also added many things we take for granted in Windows today, such as being able to preview the window from the taskbar. The file explorer was also majorly improved, and this design is still being used to this day. The start menu was made a lot better with more features, and it had a way more up-to-date look. The same start menu was copied over to Windows 7, and even on newer versions of Windows you can still get the Windows 7 style start menu with programs like OpenShell, Start7, etc. Another thing Windows Vista included was Flip 3D. Basically, it's a glorified window switcher with 3D animations. It's kinda useless, but still looks nice nonetheless. One thing Vista added that I'm not super fond of myself, the sidebar and gadgets. There are two types of people to this. You either found it to be really useful, or you found it to be really annoying. In my defense, the sidebar actually is annoying today as it's become pretty useless as most of the gadgets no longer work. Obviously, there are a lot more good features in Windows Vista, such as in the Ultimate version, you could set video files as your wallpaper. Known as Windows Dream Scene, it's a pretty nice way to spruce up your desktop, but that feature didn't catch on. However, if we're talking about Vista as a whole, we can't not talk about its flaw. God damn it, Vista. At its launch, Windows Vista was wildly unstable, so it would frequently crash. As Microsoft didn't give developers enough time to optimize their software, a lot of compatibility issues were introduced. Hardware developers also couldn't keep up with the demanding operating system that Vista was. It also didn't help that because the majority of computer users were using systems built by OEMs, they would also feel incredibly bogged down due to the fact that, that a lot of these manufacturers would pre-install third-party software, aka bloatware, onto their computers, aside from just barely meeting the hardware requirements for Vista. The launch of Vista was so bad that Apple saw an opportunity. It took all the major and even minor problems with Windows at the time, and proceeded to tear Microsoft apart with its famous I'm a Mac advertisements. You know, we use a lot of the same kinds of programs. Yeah, like Microsoft Office. But uh, we retain a lot of what makes us us. But you should see what this guy can do with a spreadsheet. It's insane. <laughs> oh, shucks. Yeah, and he knows that I'm better at life stuff, like music, pictures, movies, stuff like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what exactly do you mean by better? By better, I mean... Making a website or photo book is easy for me, and for you, it's not. Oh. Hey everyone, Nate from the future here, and uh, it wasn't until uh, like 12 hours after I finished rendering the first version of this video that I completely forgot to add the UAC section, or, or user account control. And uh, UAC is a really important part of Vista, and its criticisms. So let me just insert this segment here. User account control made its debut in Windows Vista. A lot of people found it annoying, and it still is the case to this day. However, in Vista, it is MUCH more annoying than in newer versions of Windows, even on the highest settings. It would give you a UAC prompt nearly every time you tried to open a program or change a setting. It was so annoying that a lot of users ended up disabling it, which is pretty bad for your security. With that out of the way, let's get back to the main video. However, things would get better by the time Windows 7 was released as there were more and more computers with beefed up specs to meet the demands of the operating system. As well, Microsoft was well aware of Vista's problems, and they had already fixed a lot of them by the time Surface Pack 2 was released. Unfortunately, at that point in time, Vista's reputation was beyond repair, especially since this would be the same year that Windows 7 was released. 
people generally say that Windows 7 was a major improvement over Vista, but the reality is that it was only a small iterative upgrade, and you can thank computer manufacturers for making much more powerful computers. This is also the reason why I think Windows 7 is very overrated. In conclusion, Windows Vista had gotten a lot better over time, but again, having been through its rocky start, it has long since buried itself into the graveyard of bad operating systems. In my defense, however, I had never had a problem with Vista in all the time I used it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, please leave a like on this video, and also subscribe to the channel. It's free! This is NTVMB, signing out.